Hey guys, I'm back. Time to jump into some more Sonic 3 and Knuckles by making our way through Carnival Night Zone. So, let's get started. So here we are, Carnival Night Zone. Carnival Night Zone is a fairly short level for Knuckles. One of the biggest influencing factors regarding this is the fact that Knuckles does not fight the Act 2 boss. Knuckles' path is scripted in such a way that he avoids the Act 2 boss entirely. That's not to say you can't fight him. You actually can. If you take Sonic's path at the beginning of Act 2, you can influence the game in such a way that Knuckles can fight the Act 2 boss. However, for this particular run, I don't intend to show that fight. I'm going to play Carnival Night Zone the way it's scripted for Knuckles. In regards to the Act 2 fight, I am actually going to show that in extra footage once I'm done with Knuckles' storyline. Anyway, enough of me talking about Knuckles' storyline, let's actually talk about the level. As you can see, Carnival Night Zone is not a level to be taken lightly. It's filled with a lot of conveniently placed enemies and traps. The enemies and traps are more prevalent in Sonic and Tails' storyline, but they are there for Knuckles' storyline as well. As you can see, one is right here. If you hit it just right, you can avoid the spikes. But that's not always going to be the case. As you can also see, there are floating barrels that can crush you if you time it wrong, and lots of spike pits. This enemy here is called a Batbot. It will hover around you and eventually home in on you if you just stand still. The only way you can basically get rid of them is either by defeating them or outrunning them. I generally prefer to outrun them. But if the time calls for it, I will defeat them. Anyway, that was a badly timed jump. Climb this wall here, glide over here, and we are at the Act 1 boss. The Act 1 boss is fairly straightforward. All you really have to do is expose its core, and it will defeat itself. To expose its core, you just hit it on the side here. The floating screw will basically fly into it and eventually inflict damage on it. After four hits, the boss is defeated. Careful here. There you go. Boss defeated. Act 1 is done. Onwards to Act 2. Let the signpost drop, and there you go. Much like Act 1, Act 2 is fairly straightforward. Just run to the animal prison. That's basically it. Drop down here for some extra rings. I'd recommend picking them up, but it's entirely your choice. For those of you that are interested, if you want to get onto Sonic's Pass, all you really have to do is climb up here and take this anti-gravity elevator. It will put you directly on Sonic's Pass and to the Act 2 boss. But since I'm playing this level the way it's supposed to be scripted, you basically need to go down. And avoid the bumpers if you can. It's really nice when you can thread the needle here, but that's not always going to be the case. Careful going down there. You can be crushed. Same here. You can ride this anti-gravity platform up, or you can just wait for it to go to the other side and glide. I prefer the gliding route. I've had too many bad memories with those anti-gravity platforms. Careful here. And I mean be very careful. This particular area has lots of spike pits that are waiting for you to basically fly into them. Not fun. Let me tell you. Keep going straight here. 
avoiding the bumpers if you can. But if you want, you can go for the extra points. Take this cannon up, and you'll be onwards to the animal prison. Like I said, it's a fairly straightforward level. At past the cannon, you have no real enemies or traps. Just drop, keep going straight, and go up. Voila! The animal prison. Now, if you play the game in such a way, you can actually get to the Act 2 boss from here. But as you can see, I'm basically locked off. So, if you play it just right, this section won't be locked off. But, like I said, it's just another path to the Act 2 boss, and I'm not intending to fight the Act 2 boss in this run. That's going to be extra footage. Now that we're at the Animal Prison, I'm going to call it here. In the next part, we shall make our way through Ice Cap Zone. I hope everybody enjoys this, and I shall see you in the next video.